YouTube, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be going over the top 5 Vodas you guys need to be given a go right now in the brand new Warzone Pacific. As we know with the Season 1 update, all the Vanguard guns were implemented into Warzone, so those are the exact weapons that we're going to be focusing on in today's video. Now as we've seen in the past, like with Cold War, once those weapons are implemented into Warzone, they're definitely always a little bit more OP than the previous ones. So in today's video, I'm going to be providing a primary and secondary weapon, as well as perks and everything that you're going to want to use, so be sure to stick around to the end to see it all. If you you guys do go on to enjoy today's video or find it useful definitely let me know by dropping a like and comment down below it is always greatly appreciated and helps out the channel a lot and of course guys if you are new around here i'm always posting the best warzone loadouts call of duty news tips and tricks gameplays and more so if that's something you guys are interested in definitely feel free to subscribe to never miss out on one of my videos so with all that out of the way guys let's hop right into these top five loadouts that you're gonna want to use so starting us off in the number five spot we have the z41 as the primary and the type 100 as a secondary backing it up now something you're gonna notice when you're using these vanguard guns in warzone is the fact that you don't need to have them at a high level for them to perform really well. Now for this NZ, this thing is a great AR and it performs very well at long and medium range gunfights. The recoil is very minimal with this thing and the time to kill is also extremely quick as long as you're hitting them in the head or the upper torso. Overall though, this gun is definitely pretty heavy so the mobility isn't that great but we are using it as the primary so you gotta keep that in mind and that's exactly why we have the Type 100 as a secondary to back us up for closer range gunfights. So here's what you want to use, the MX Silencer, the 480MM, the Carver Foregrip, the 40 round mag, Fran fabric grip the g16 2.5 the mk3 sc brace and reach so moving on to the secondary the type 100 that's back in this nz up now this smg is very good it performs very well at close and medium range gunfights because of the minimal recoil that it has this build also has a fairly quick fire rate which gives it a very quick time to kill and on top of that it's very mobile so that's why it's perfect to back up with nz so here's what you want to use for the muzzle we got the mercury silencer for the barrel we got the warbachi 134 mm for the underbar we got the m1930 for the mag we got the 48 round mag for the ammo we got lengthened for the rear grip we have the fabric grip for the optic we got the monocular reflector for the stock we have the t100 for the perk one we got slide of hand and for the perk two we got quick so for the perks we got double time overkill and then amped and then as i said earlier we're only focusing on the vanguard part so that's why we have the lethal as a frag and the tactical as a stun instead of a heartbeat sensor or something like that so moving on to the number four loadout spot we have the bar and the ppsh so starting us off with this bar i honestly think this weapon is extremely good the only problem i have with it is the fact that it has a very slow fire rate but the bullet damage really makes up for that it only takes a few bullets to actually down your opponent and the ttk will be even quicker if you're hitting them in the head or the upper torso so that's something you're definitely going to want to aim for when using this thing but on top of that as with most of these weapons this thing doesn't have any recoil so here's what you're going to want to use on it the mercury silencer the 27 2b the carver 4 grip no mag frangible the grooved grip the g16 2.5 the chariot wr slide of hand and deep breath so moving right along to the ppsh that's backing this bar up now this build is honestly extremely good because of its insanely quick fire rate which gives it an insanely quick time to kill now this build definitely performs its best at close range, so you have to keep that in mind when using it, but that is also why we have the bar as the primary with this thing. It definitely starts to have some vertical recoil as you get further out, but it's not too difficult to control. So here's what you're going to want to use on it. For the muzzle, we have the F8 stabilizer. For the barrel, we have the 280mm light. For the underbarrel, we have the M1930. For the mag, we have the 71 round mag. For the ammo, we have subsonic. For the rear grip, we have the grooved grip. For the optic, we have the slate reflector. For the stock, we have the ZAC folding. For the first perk, we got tight grip, and for the second perk, we have quick. For the perk, on the class itself we got double time overkill and amped for the lethal we have the frag and for the tactical we have the stun so moving right along to the number three loadout spot we have the stg and the 1911 backing it up now this obviously is going to be a ghost class and that's why we have a pistol backing up this stg i like to take this at the second loadout or sometimes right off rip depending on how the game's going but i mean if you guys use this at all in vanguard multiplayer you would know this thing absolutely slaps and nothing is different in warzone with it this build is an absolute laser it barely has any recoil the ttk is very quick especially if you're hitting them in the head or the upper torso and the mobility for this weapon is honestly really good for an AR. So here's what you're going to want to use on it. For the muzzle, we got the F8 stabilizer. For the barrel, we got the 760mm. For the underbarrel, we got the M3 ready grip. For the mag, we have the 60 round mag. For the ammo, we have subsonic. For the rear grip, we got the leather grip. For the optic, we have the slate reflector. For the stock, we got the Constance tactical. For the first perk, we got sleight of hand. And for the second perk, we got fully loaded. For the 1911, feel free to throw on whatever you want. But for the perks, we got double time, ghost, and amped. For the lethal, we got the frag. And for the tactical, we have the stun grenade. So moving right along to the number two spot, this is personally my favorite loadout to run as of right now. Warzone, we have the automation and the MP40. The reason I like this loadout so much is because I believe that both of these weapons are some of the best that you can be using in the game without a doubt. But to get into this automation build, this thing has no recoil. The TTK is very quick. The mobility is honestly really great for an AR. On top of that, it has a great ADS speed and it has a 75 round mag on it, so it's perfect for trios and quads. So here's what you want to use the F8 stabilizer, the Mpress 620mm, the M3 ready grip, the 75 round mag, subsonic, the granular grip, the M19 4x, the Anastasia padded, slight 
hand and fully loaded. Definitely don't sleep on this thing. It's well worth leveling up and giving a go. So moving right along to the MP40 that's backing this automation up. This MP40 build is an absolute monster. It gets the job done from medium and close range with ease. The TTK on it is extremely quick because it has a very quick fire rate. It barely has any recoil whatsoever and the mobility is fantastic on it. So here's what you want to use on it. The F8 stabilizer, the 317mm, the M1930 underbarrel, the 40 round mag, subsonic, the grooved grip, the ISO 2M, the VDD 34M padded, steady and quick. This loadout as a whole, I definitely recommend that you give a go so it's well worth it to unlock these attachments and use them. For the overall perks on this loadout, we got double time overkill and amped. For the lethal, we have the frag grenade. And finally, for the tactical, we're using the stun grenade. So moving right along to the number one loadout spots to be using right now in Warzone Pacific, we have the Cooper Carbine and the 1911. Now I know what you're thinking. Let me explain to you first why you only need the Cooper Carbine on this loadout and not to have a secondary backing up like an SMG or something. So yes, we will be using Ghost on this class. And the reason for that is because the Cooper Carbine is the best weapon to be using in the game right now without a doubt. This build performs fantastic from long, medium, and close range with ease. The TTK on this build is extremely quick and there is zero recoil to it. The mobility feels like an SMG even though it's an AR so you can get around the map very quick with it. You can officially unlock this thing at tier 15 and the battle pass is a free tier so I definitely recommend that you grind and unlock it if you haven't already. So this is what you're going to want to use on it. The Mercury Silencer, the 22 Cooper Custom, the Carver Foregrip, the 60 round mag, lengthened, the G16 2.5, the Polymer Grip, the Cooper Custom Padded, tight grip, and on hand. Definitely don't sleep on that thing. It's honestly probably the best weapon to be using right now in Warzone Pacific. Here's an Akimbo class for the 1911 if that's something you're looking for. This build does well at close range and those incendiary rounds help to finish off the kill a lot of the time. So the perks you're going to use in the Warzone menu are Double Time, Ghost, and Amped. Then for the Lethal, we have the Frag, and for the Tactical, we have the Stun. So there you guys have it. These were the top five loadouts in my opinion that I believe that you need to be giving a go right now in Warzone Pacific. These weapons that I went over in today's video are statistically some of the best in the game, so I definitely recommend that you level them up to the level that you need and give them all a go. As I said before, you don't need to have these weapons fully maxed out in order for them to perform well like we've seen in the past with other weapons, so I definitely recommend that you give them a go at whatever level you have and eventually they'll start leveling up because they level up fairly quick in Warzone anyway. But with all that being said guys, if you did go on to enjoy today's video or found it useful, definitely let me know by dropping a like and comment down below. It is always greatly appreciated and it helps out a lot. And of course guys, if you are new around here, I'm always posting the best Warzone loadouts, best Vanguard loadouts, tips and tricks, gameplays and more. So if that's something you guys are interested in, definitely feel free to subscribe to never miss out on one of my videos. But with all that being said guys, thank you for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.